Hello everybody and welcome back to another Rocket video. Haha, <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting a voiceover, were you? Anyway, if you guys look on the left side of the screen, you guys can now see that I have an Instagram at the YT. You guys can go and follow me and check out my Instagram account. I'd really appreciate it. Second off, the reason that this is not part two of building the rocket and it is part three is because in the process of editing this video, I accidentally deleted the footage from part two. But all I did in part two was the fins. So hopefully you guys can forgive me i'm sorry i didn't mean to you didn't miss too much and then also the shout out for this video goes to dean the boss 75 they were the first commenter on my last video if you guys want to get a shout out then be first commenter on this video and you will get a shout out in the next video but now back to this video welcome to part three of building the sd's vapor so for this video we're gonna finish up the building we're gonna attach the fins we're gonna do fillets and then we're gonna cut the launch lug glue that on and then I'm not gonna put in the shot cord until after I paint it, so we don't have to worry about that. But not a super action-packed filled episode, but hopefully you'll still enjoy it. If you guys do wanna purchase this rocket, there is a link to it in the description. It does not go to SD's site, but it goes to Hobby Lobby because this rocket is a Hobby Lobby exclusive rocket, which leads me to say that if you have no idea what that is and you wanna know more, then check out my unboxing video, which you can find in the playlist, which I'll put in an iCard in the top right corner, so go and check it out. Okay, now most people who do model rockets actually put on all three fins at the same time. However, I'm not going to do this because I wanna make sure that these are extra super straight and I also just like to let them dry like that. So I'm only gonna put these on one at a time. The fin's already done. I just have to wait for it to dry. It's gonna be a lot of waiting because I will, I will have to wait for this one to dry before I can attach this one. And I have to wait for this one to dry before I can attach the last one. And then I have to do fillets. I have to do three sets. It's gonna be a lot of waiting. This episode is going to be a lot of waiting for me. Okay, so really quick, two things. One, if the audio quality changed, I'm sorry. And then also you'll see the camera angles different. So this is going to be the new camera angle from now on in all my rocket videos. Hopefully with this new camera angle, you'll be able to see more widely. Now, rather than just attaching one fin this time, I'm actually going to attach the other two because once I do that, I want to be able to line up the rocket with this. So I want to make sure that all of the fins, I want to make sure that all the fins are at the same angle from each other. If anybody has any tips for getting glue bottles open after glue is dried up inside of them, please, please leave them in the comments down below because it would help me so much. I swear I spent half the time in these videos just trying to get this bottle of glue open. Okay, so I'm gonna let these fins dry and then I will come back and we're gonna tape off the sides of the tube so that when I do fillets, I don't get super, super big fillets. I can control the size of fillet that I get. Cause that was a mistake on my last rocket is I had way too big of fillets and then when I tried to sand it, I tore up the tube and I still didn't even get the fillets down all the way. So we're gonna be taping it down to make sure that I don't get globs upon globs of glue on the fillets. I'm back, it's about a week or a week and a half later, and all of the fillets on the rocket are done because I had a ton of complications with it to where I just kind of had to set down the camera and I just had to do it off camera, so I'm sorry. Now there's no gaps or anything in the fillets, and when I was trying to tape them off, I didn't do it correctly anyway, so I ended up just going back with the old fillet method and just putting glue over it. So now I have this. I have not glued the tube together yet because I want to sand the fillets first and it'll be easier to sand them with a shorter tube so then I don't have to worry about hitting the end of another tube against stuff whenever I'm sanding. So 
I've decided that before I glue the two tubes together that I'm going to put on the launch lugs on the bottom half first. Okay, so I've roughly marked out the line for the launch lug and now my next step is to cut the launch lug. Okay, I've got everything ready to cut the launch lug in half now. And I'm back. I think it's been an hour later, but I did check the alignment of the launch lugs and it aligns perfectly. But now I'm going to be applying the fillets to the launch lugs the same way that I did with the fins. The launch lug fillets are now dry and now it's time to do the other side. I'm really excited to just kind of get the launch lugs over with because once the launch lugs are other, oh, there. Once the launch lugs are over with, all I have to do is glue this tube right here on using this coupler and then, I'm ready to paint, which is not gonna be in this video, but it's gonna be in a separate video. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, so I'm back now, and I am checking the fillets on the launch lugs um, since I last looked at them. And we don't have any gaps anymore after filling them, so it should just be as simple as sanding down the tube around the launch lug if I got any glue there, and then gluing down the launch lugs themselves, and then the launch lug fillets, and then gluing the tube together and then we'll be done with assembling it. This rocket is now too big to fit on frame. This is officially our biggest rocket that we have for now, at least until we build this bad boy. This is a mean machine. This is 79 inches. This is over six feet tall, this rocket. And I mean, on the picture they show you on the box, this thing is underestimated. I mean, like, look, holy cow. But anyway, guys, that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you guys are the best. Stay awesome, and I'll see you guys next time. And be on the lookout for the video when I paint this thing because you guys are not going to want to miss it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.